only there was a lawnmower in the background. guys welcome back to an unbelievable day here in Ohio if I could find a place in the world where it was like this every day I'd be there in a heartbeat I've had a couple of questions about what's going on with the channel the thing I don't like about YouTube is unless you're posting a video to get information across it's really hard to get information across I have posted it on my discussion board I've also posted it on the Facebook if you follow the Facebook you would know what's going on. Early on in my video making career, I played around with a couple, three different types of video editing software. One of them came with a selection of production music, which after some inquiries on my part to the company was assured that they were cleared for any and all usage. I specifically asked about posting on YouTube and they said, we have all the rights for it. Not the case. So uh, I have, in two instances, had uh, copyright matches with this supposedly cleared uh, music. And I, I, I don't want that. First of all, I don't want the copyright strikes against me. But second of all, being a copyright holder myself, I understand. If I could just have a leaf blower in the background, that would really set the mood. Um, yeah, so I, I understand that and, and I respect that and um, I'm, I'm the guy that plays by the rules. Um, I don't try to get away with stuff until I'm caught. Are you kidding me? I'm the guy that, uh, that does the right thing up front. So what you are seeing with this kind of avalanche of posts is me uh, going back to my my offline archives I mean you are you are archiving your stuff independent of YouTube right don't depend on anybody to do what you need to do put it on a put it on a, a hard drive put it on in my case I use DVDs to archive it all on so that you are, have a copy of all your stuff don't lose your stuff because somebody else lost it for you I'm going back to my archives pulling the files down and I'm replacing the the music uh, on that and then I have, have to repost those videos now I've I've tried to find a way to get around it without having to actually repost another video and I can't find a way around it I've I've looked into using the YouTube video editor which doesn't have the functionality that I need so that's what's happening um, and I know it's it's inconvenient because it's for a lot of you guys it's it's deja vu all over again and, and I apologize for that uh, but I'm pretty close to being done uh, all I have left are uh, the quickie videos and that little tag on the front uh, I've got to get uh, have to get rid of that so just be patient with me uh, I'm trying to get it done as fast as I can you're set up to get pinged every time uh, a new video drops. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. It's just the way it's. Uh, it's just the way it's. It's kind of going. So it'll, it'll all be over soon, and we'll be able to be done with this silly management type of garbage. Because I'm not getting. You know, I'm not doing guitars. I'm not building tools. I'm not doing anything quote unquote productive. But I'm. I'm really trying to keep myself from getting bit in the ass a little later down the road so hey thanks for hanging in there remember to uh, like comment and subscribe and uh, if you want the timely news we're on the Facebook we're on uh, the Instagram and we're also on uh, Twitter so hey you guys uh, have a good one cheers hey if you've enjoyed this episode of rattle can guitar restorations you might want to check out the videos below also, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to us over on the YouTube. You can friend us over on the Facebook. And you can follow us on the Instagram as well as the Twitter. 
See you next time. Thanks for watching the train wreck. Cheers.